Good afternoon. The first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Emeritus Professor Alan Spence, Professor of Creative Writing at the University of Aberdeen, an author and member of the Sri Chinmoy Centre in Edinburgh. Professor Spence. Thank you. Uh, presenting officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the invitation to come and speak to you on such a glorious autumn day. Um, the theme of my talk, brief talk, is living in hope. Uh, last year, I wrote a play about two great Glaswegians, poet Edwin Morgan and trade unionist and parliamentarian Jimmy Reid, who died in the same week back in 2010. My play imagines the pair of them waking up in a kind of afterlife, not quite sure where they are, and they blether and banter engage in a, a fair bit of flighting about life, the universe, and post-referendum Scotland, where we've been, where we are, and maybe where we're going. Towards the end of the play, they're looking at the state of the wider world, the four horsemen of the apocalypse under starter's orders, but still they hold to something, something positive as they look back at their own lives. We did what we could. We did what we did. You live in hope. We lived in hope. And if this building and your work here are about anything, they're about hope, a sense of possibility, a belief that we can work towards a better world. 20 years ago, almost to the day, the wisest man I've ever known visited Scotland. He was my teacher, Sri Chinmoy, a poet, a philosopher, an artist and musician, an athlete, and most of all, a man of peace. He was here to give a peace concert, and during his visit, he composed a song called My Scotland. In it, he praised the qualities he saw manifest here, invention, action, and discovery. Invention, action, discovery, an entirely positive take on our dynamic possibilities. Sri Chinmoy passed away in 2007, and the night before he left the earth, he spoke very movingly about the power of hope. He looked at life with a clear eye, saw the madness and the folly, but also the fact that hope still breathes in us. He wrote, every day must come to you as a new promise, a new aspiration, a new energy. Hope is our inner effort. It inspires us to see something new, to feel something new, to do something new, and finally to become something new. Let us not underestimate the power of hope. No matter how fleeting its life, it offers to us the most convincing and fulfilling power. We live in hope. Thank you.